so we're in Dubuque because mm -hmm, Aspen left us at Grandma's. Daddy promised had to have it. that we pick it up. I, did, I was too tired to go get it last night, which I should have just went and got it. But I promised my little man that I would not let him go the weekend without it, so I made a special trip today to get the fishing game. And I have to go to Dollar Tree anyway, so... Oh, what? by the way, I gotta go to Dollar Tree. I forgot to tell him. Yeah, I need a couple of things there. So this is my to... life. <laughs> yeah, can I go to I was gonna tell him and I got sidetracked with something. Mom, what? Can I go to Dollar Tree too? So I'm we're finally making it to the Dollar Tree. We have been at Matt's mom and dad's house for hours and hours trying to help his dad get something set up. So Something but, really cool for him. Yeah. We got it set up for him, and it looks hey like guys. it's gonna work really well. And it looks like hey it guys. might be something. Hey guys, yeah. we found cicadas like on the thing. Mom is terrified of dead cicadas. I I really am. I, yeah, he put a cicada on your back, and I can no, put a cicada. I don't. I put a cicada on Grandpa. Anyway, I'm gonna run and get some stuff, and then I will hey, tell you hey. about what I might be doing. Hey. All right, guys. So it has been an incredibly busy day. I've had nothing to vlog today, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But ask the one to tell you something. The one row coke right here, that's like the one row coke you didn't win on. All right, guys, so it has been an incredibly busy day. We had the intention of coming into town to pick up Aspen's fishing game, like I told you earlier, and I needed to run to the Dollar Tree, which I finally got done. But we got sidetracked along the way, which happens a lot. Very sidetracked. But today, yeah, we got very sidetracked and I had no vlog footage at all today because I was basically sitting in Matt's mom and dad's living room talking to his mom for what? Probably about three hours? <laughs> because Matt has been trying to set his dad up to do something and me as well so that way I can help bring some extra income into the house, which I'm, you guys know if you've been watching us for long enough, I'm always looking for ways to supplement income into the house and yet still have a flexible schedule so I can homeschool the kids and be at home to help Matt with the kids. But I'm always looking for ways to find money and to make money for our household. So I will, as soon as I find out if everything went through for me, I will share a little bit with you guys what I might be doing. But with my father, not only was I setting him up, which I got him all set up and he's good to go, and he started doing it, but in the meantime, he has an iPhone 7, and oh. I don't know what he did, but... He lost his Apple password and oh. could not remember it. Although, I wonder if it wasn't the phone, because he yeah. swears he knew the password, and Matt actually had to reset his entire phone. No, I didn't. I know, I, it reset itself. And all of a sudden, it just said, like, it kept telling him it would reset in 15 days, and then today it said 10 days that he could reset his password. And then all of a sudden, his Apple emblem showed up, and a bar came across, and it just said, uh, restore your device. And usually it would say yes or cancel, but it said yes, and it was highlighted, and that's all you could, you couldn't click off it, and it just updated itself and, like, restored itself to factory settings. Yeah, he lost all his contacts, all his apps, so, yeah. Anyway, we are going to head home, and then I'll show you guys what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty excited about it. All right, guys, so I told you I would show you what I got, and I normally don't do a whole lot of haul videos on here, but every now and then... And since I didn't have much footage today, I thought I'd show you what I got at the Dollar Tree and do a haul video today. So I picked up, first of all, let me backtrack. So I don't wear makeup every day, but I really do like to wear makeup. And I find a lot of really great finds at the Dollar Tree and stuff that I would use on a regular basis. So this is what I picked up today. I decided to do a little bit of mom spoiling today but I didn't spend a fortune. I literally spent under $20 to get makeup items that I've been wanting to replace or items that I've needed to replace and then things that I've been wanting. So check this out. I got 28 of the cosmetic wedges. And then, okay, this isn't makeup, although I could probably wash the makeup off with it. A couple of sponges. I got a two pack at the dollar store, so I paid a buck a piece for these. And this is what I use to do my dishes when, one, my dishwasher isn't working, like right now. Well, it's working, but I have no faucet replaced yet. 
and two, when I just need to hand wash a few things, like the big pots and pans and stuff. So I love these ones, and part of the reason is, is because they're really pretty too. They're not just the normal like yellow with the green on them. I like how they come in the different like funky little designs on them. I just think they look nice and I like using them when I do dishes. I don't know, I hate doing do dishes. So I like to find things that make it a little more fun for me. Then I found this. So one of the items that I found for myself that I was really excited about and I've been looking for for a while is a nice light pink blush. It's kind of hard to see the color. There you go. That's more like it. But this nice light pink blush, I was just looking for something that gave a little bit of a blush look but nothing too heavy um because even when i wear makeup especially if i'm wearing like a day makeup i want something that looks more natural than not um and then i found these matte eyeshadows and they have like a darker brown and then kind of more of a not an orangey orangey brown but like a sienna and then like a tan and then an off-white so i really liked this color palette in there and then check this out it's like a a gold shimmer eyeshadow so what I would use this for would just be a little bit of like highlight on the eye just over top of the browns to give it a little bit of shine and a little bit of sparkle and then I found more of like a bronze color in that same and where'd the other one go this color I was really excited about because this will be really nice for like the brow bone area and it can be used as a highlighter because it's more of like a pinky color. These brushes, now this is really cool. I'm going to take them out. It was a three pack of brushes and they come in this little, oh, I don't know if I can get them out. Mm, I think they've got a seal or thing on them. Yeah, they do. Okay. So these I was really excited about because it was a th three pack and I wanted some thinner brushes for my eyeshadow and for like blending and stuff. And they're really soft. They're natural hair, which I love. They're not the synthetic ones. And check this out. They're super pretty. They had these really pretty like floral designs on them. So I got this one and then the smaller one and then this really thin brush, which will be perfect for like, you know, like edging here or putting it in here and I think I just got joined by the cat. Say hi bleep. Say hi. She's like yeah I just want to be nasty and see what you got. Then I found this palette and the only reason I really got this one like I'll use some of these other colors but was for this really subtle pink in there. So that was really exciting. And then I have a mascara I use but I don't really like it and I thought I'd try this. I'm not really picky about mascara. I'm more picky about the brush. And this one is Bold Lash, Masca uh, Bold Lash Mascara, so thought I'd try it and it has the right type of brush. What are you doing? You're going to knock the camera down. You're going to knock the camera down. Get down. Oh, she's so nasty. Then I got another brush, and this one is great for, like, pressed powder, just kind of putting it all over. And then I got an e.l.f. bronzer there, you guys. Now, I don't know if I'm going to like this color. It's supposed to be sun-kissed. I don't like a really dark bronzer. I like more of like a natural look with just a little bit of that kind of orangish color. So we'll see. This is a little more tan than I'm used to. And this is the brush I've been looking for. So this is an angled liner brush, but this I was looking for for the creasing. I've been searching and searching for one and they had one there and for a buck. Ow! You just clawed my leg. Go, you're being so nasty. I found this dark pink frost color. So I'm looking for a lip color that's like a little more neutral for day wear. And I thought I'd check this out. And it came with a matching liner, which I thought was kind of cool. So we'll see how that color works. A lot of times, like, I'll blend my own lipstick colors or, like, add to it to make it more what I wanted. But I'm looking for something that's just really quick, easy go. But I don't have to do any blending. I can just put it right on. All right. So here was my absolute favorite find of the day. Check it out. And look at how pretty and natural they look. They have all different lengths in the eyelashes, which I thought was really cool. I never wear false eyelashes, but I have been watching several YouTube channels and the women that are on there are moms. They're moms just like me and they have busy lives. And I always noticed that their makeup looked really, really great. And one of their secrets is to really glam up their look 
they use false eyelashes, but I've never been able to wear them because I don't know how to apply them. And every time I'd put them on, they'd like fall off. Well, apparently the secret to wearing false eyelashes is to let the glue dry a little bit. Somebody could have told me years ago. So I'm excited, I'm gonna try it. It's not something that I would do every day, but I think it'd be really neat if like we're gonna go take pictures, um, I don't know, just to try it out and see how it looks. I may never wear them, it might just be a Halloween item that I add to Halloween, but I thought it'd be kinda cool just for once in a while to do something a little bit more glammy. So I don't wear makeup every day, but I do like to wear it and I like to have fun with makeup when I am wearing it. So I'm gonna try out a few different styles and try out some different looks with the makeup because I've been really excited from some of the other channels that I've been watching to just try out some of the looks that they have because her makeup looks really good. And one of the ladies that I watch, she literally does her makeup every single day and it always looks beautiful and she was showing her routine and it's it literally is so simple and easy. Anyway, I really like her look and it's, I kind of wanna do like a little bit of my own, the colors and stuff like that that I like, but I liked her techniques and some of the hints that she gave. So um, anyway, that's what I picked up in my Dollar Tree haul today. And no, I don't normally do videos like this, but like I said, we didn't have much vlog footage today, so I thought it'd be fun to do something a little bit different than what I normally do. So cool stuff, under 20 bucks. I love the Dollar Tree. There's so many cool finds there. And I don't spend a lot of money on makeup. There's a few products that I would use that I'd spend a little bit more on. But for like everyday colors, shadows, stuff like that, I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And we will see you tomorrow with a normal Love Jar Vlogs vlog. <laughs>